Hello everyone! I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I would like to speak about DR and BDR placement and election in OSPF with configuration example. So let's get started. Multi-access networks such as Ethernet and Frame Relay allow more than two routers to exist on the network segment. This setup may cause scalability problems with OSPF as more routers exist on the network segment which flood more LSAs and OSPF traffic becomes excessive as OSPF neighbor adjacencies increase. For example, if we have four routers in, in the same LAN segment, they form six adjacencies along with six occurrences of database flooding. For example, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six adjacencies. Mathematically, the number of adjacencies in the full mesh topology can be calculated with formula n multiply n minus one divided by two, where n is the number of nodes. So if we have, for example, four nodes, we are going to have six adjacencies. If we have five nodes, we're going to have 10 adjacencies. And if we have six nodes, we're going to have 15 uh, adjacencies. That many adjacencies consume more bandwidth, CPU processing, and memory to maintain each of the neighbor states. To overcome the issue with full mesh adjacencies, OSPF creates a pseudo node or virtual router, which manages the adjacency state with all the other routers on the broadcast network segment. The name of this virtual router is designated router or DR. All routers on that broadcast network segment only form a full OSPF adjacency with DR and not each other. The DR is the router which is responsible for flooding updates to all OSPF routers on the broadcast network as the updates occur. In case DR were to fail, OSPF would form new adjacencies invoking all new LSAs. This can cause a temporary loss of routes as well as loss of connectivity. To deal with this issue in the event of DR failure, OSPF elects a backup designated router BDR at the new DR and triggers the election of a new BDR. All OSPF routers on the broadcast network segment form a full OSPF adjacency with BDR as well. DR-BDR election process the DR-BDR election occurs during the last phase of two-way neighbor state and just before the X-start state. When the router enters the two-way state, it has already received a hello from the neighbor. If a router ID in the hello packet other than 0000 for the DR or BDR, the new router assumes that the current routers are the actual DR and BDR. Because the initial time router runs the election algorithm for a network, the network's DR and BDR are initialized to 0000, which indicates the lack of both DR and BDR. Routers with the OSPF priority from 1 to 255 in its OSPF interfaces connected to multi-access network segment are trying to become DR. By default, OSPF priority on the router interface is equal to 1. Each router on that segment with OSPF priority from 1 to 255 places their OSPF priority and router ID in their hello packets for that segment. Then routers receive a, and examine hello packets from the neighboring routers and check OSPF priority and router ID. If a router finds itself as a more favorable router than the neighbor, it continues to send out hello packets with its OSPF priority and router ID listed. If the information in the hello packet is more favorable, then the router updates information in its OSPF hello packet with the information received from the neighbor. The router updates the R field of the hello packet with the more favorable router ID. To be more preferable for the R election, the router must have the highest OSPF priority on the interface for that network segment. And in case there is a tie, the router must have higher router ID. When all routers on the network segment have agreed on the same DR, they become adjacent with the DR. 
Then the election for BDR begins and follows the same logic as for DR election, except that DR does not add its router ID to the BDR field of the hello packet. The DR and BDR roles in OSPF cannot be preempted after the, uh, the DR BDR election has completed. Only in case of failure or process restart on DR BDR, the election process starts to replace the role that is missing. When OSPF packets don't contain a DR BDR router for a segment, OSPF initializes a, a wait timer with the default value equal to that interval to make sure that all routers on the segment have fully initialized. When the wait timer has expired, a router participates in the DR election. When the OSPF first starts on the interface, the wait timer also starts and the router still can elect itself at the DR for that segment without other OSPF routers. It waits until the wait timer expires. The DRPDR process distributes LSAs in the following way. Step 1. All OSPF routers, DRBDR routers on the network segment form a full adjacency with the DR and BDR. When an OSPF router learns of a new router, it sends the update LSA to the old router's address 224006, which only DR and BDR receive and process. Step 2. The DR sends a, a unicast acknowledgement to the router that sent the initial LSA update. Step 3. The DR floods the LSA to all the routers on the segment via the all SPF routers address, which is 224005. Modifying router ID for the R placement on the router is the bad design strategy. A better technique is to modify the interface OSPF priority to the higher value than the existing DR has. In the default configuration, OSPF priority of the router interface is equal to 1, meaning that if you want to make the router as DR, you need to change OSPF priority on the interface to any value from 2 to 255. And don't forget that OSPF does not preempt the DR or BDR roles. For the changes to take effect, you might need to restart OSPF process on the current DR-BDR router. To restart OSPF process, use the command clear IP OSPF process. To set the OSPF interface priority, use the following command under the interface configuration. IP OSPF priority and then you need to specify value from 0 to 255. To remove interface from DRBDR election, set the interface OSPF priority to 1. Increasing interface OSPF priority above the default value 1 makes interface more favorable for DRBDR election process compared to interfaces with the default interface OSPF priority value. To verify interface role, just check the OSPF interface with the following command. Show IP OSPF interface brief. In the output, you will find states for interfaces on the current router for that network segment. For example, for router R5, G01 interface is in state designated router. For R3, G01 is a BDR. And for R2, G01 is Drawder. To check the status of the topology, use the following command show IP OSPF neighbor. In the output, you will find a neighbor ID, OSPF neighbor ID, priority of the neighbor, and the state of that uh, neighbor. For example, a router uh, with um, router ID 192.168.11 has priority 10, and this router is a designated router. If you are enjoying this video, please show your support for it by hitting the like button. To consolidate information on this topic, I would like to do configuration example. For this configuration example, I'm going to use topology with four routers, R1, R2, R3 and R4. They are connected to broadcast network uh, with subnet 10.1.1.0.24. I'm going to use uh, OSPF, one area OSPF with area 0 and uh, I want to see which router is going to be DR and which router is going to be BDR by default, then I'm, I'm going to change um, 
OSPF priority on the interfaces on some routers to see how to in to have influence on the DR BDR placement. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on. So this is network for today's example. I already pre-configured all IP addresses on all interfaces on all routers, so I can just start with OSPF configuration. So let's get started. Do show IP interface brief. As you can see, I have IP on G01 interface and also loopback interface configured router OSPF 100 network 10110255 area 0 network 192.168.11.0.0.0.0 area 0 router 2 uh, router OSPF 100 network 10110.0.0.0.255 area 0 network 192.168.21.0.0.0.0 area 0 next one router R3 router OSPF 100 network 10 1 1 z uh, 0 255 area 0 network 192 area 0 and the last one router ospf 100 network uh, 10 1 1 0 Area 0, network 192.168.41.0.0.0, area 0. Let's see what we have. And this is uh, first configuration for, uh, first command for verification, sorry. Show IP OSPF neighbors. For now, we see that process, uh, there is still a election going on the network. And let's wait a little bit more until it's done. So we're going to see uh, for this default configuration with priority, default priority value on interfaces, we're going to see uh, router 4 as DR and router 3 as a BDR and yes we see that router um, R4 is DR and router R3 is a BDR so now uh, let's go on R4 conf T interf uh, Let's see what we have this here. Show IP SPF neighbors. And we can see that router has um, full connect, uh, full adjacency with routers, with all routers, because this is the R router, even with drawers. But the router R1 has only two ways uh, adjacency with a drawer. Um, router R2 and the same as for uh, DR it should be for PDR show IP OSPF neighbors and you can see that they have all full adjacency let's change uh, OSPF priority for R4 for to 0 it will make um, router R4 not to participate in uh, the RPDR election. Conf T interface G01 IP OSPF priority 0. Let's see. Show IP OSPF neighbors and
as you can see uh, router r3 it it was previously pdr it took over the r uh, row on this um, segment network segment and uh, router r2 was elected as a bdr because it has a higher router id so uh, let's make router r1 as dr so conf t interface g01 and uh, ip ospf uh, priority let's say 10 but it's not gonna happen now because there is no preempt so we need to restart uh, OSPF process clear IP OSPF process yes show IP OSPF neighbors so R2 took over DR so we need to restart R2 as well uh, clear IP OSPF process because previously R2 was BDR and it took over DR so I need to uh, restart this process to make R1 as DR now we have R1 DR because uh, its uh, rotors priority is different from default from 1 it's now 10 and it made it uh, more preferable to be DR uh, in this um, election process let's see so this is rotor r3 and i guess this rotor r3 is bdr at the moment because it has higher uh, rotor id than rotor r2 show ip or spf neighbors yes rotor r3 is bdr so let's make r2 as bdr so conf t uh, ip or spf priority Pre, uh, oh sorry interface g01 ip spf priority let's say five and we need to restart this clear ip spf process so now we're gonna have <coughs> rotor r1 as dr uh, with roll dr and rotor <coughs> excuse me uh, no, rotor r2 as bdr show ip ospf uh, neighbors and as you can see rotor r1 is dr and rotor r2 is bdr and the last uh, verification command that i wanted to show is show ip ospf interface brief uh, sorry so ip ospf interface uh, brief and we can see states of or state of our um, interfaces on this router so uh, this is uh, this router is a drawer let's check on r2 show ip ospf interface brief it's going to be bdr for this network segment and r1 show ip ospf interface brief is dr and for loop uh, loopback interfaces state is a loop this is everything what i wanted to show you uh, today for dr bdr election and placement Thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you soon in my next videos. But for now, just ciao ciao.